Do you want to know what's in my chicken first aid kit? Let's check it out. The longer that I have chickens, the more things that I accumulate in my first aid kit. First, I have this medicine safe that I use. If you have small children at home or anyone that you need to keep out of a first aid kit, because this does have syringes and needles in here, so I do like to keep the medication and everything locked up. So I was able to get this on Amazon and I'll show you inside. It's a combination code to be able to open it up. And then if you look inside, I have it set up with the essentials that I need so that I can just grab it and go and take care of any chicken poultry wounds. Or if I have a sick chicken, I have access to things that I'm going to need. It doesn't contain everything that I use, but it has the essentials. So let's go over some things that is beneficial to have in your kit. With your chickens, getting cuts, scrapes, different wounds is something that you're gonna have to deal with. So having things on hand like cotton balls, gauze pads, vet wrap, these are gonna be very helpful when it comes to taking care of wounds. The things that I used for wound care are my personal favorites. I am not a vet. You should consult with your veterinarian if you have questions about wound care. I wanna share with you what I've used that has worked very well in the past for wounds with my chickens, and that would be povidine iodine. I use this in a diluted solution, so I, I take povidine iodine, just a small amount in a bowl of warm water so that I dilute it down to look like a weak tea color. And I use this to wash any wounds that my chickens get. This works really good as an antiseptic. After I've washed and dried the wound, my go-to for wound care is blue coat. Now blue coat you would be using off-label, meaning that this is for horses and dogs. This is something I do use with my dogs and it works fantastic. I also use it on my chicken's wounds and it is phenomenal when it comes to helping their wounds heal very quickly. It does leave a blue stain. It's messy, so I do have gloves that I wear. This is a germicidal, fungicidal, and it is miraculous how fast their wounds heal when I use this. What I like about this, it serves as a wound dressing. You spray it on and it leaves that blue color, which in my experience with my chickens, if they have a wound where there's blood, the chickens all want to peck at it. But once I spray this blue on top of that and cover up the wound with this, they don't seem to be bothered by the blue and they just leave the chicken alone. When they first have this applied, they are separated from the flock, but once they return to the flock, they still have this blue coat on there. It doesn't seem to phase the other chickens. So I do really like this. This is my go-to. There are other options if you're more comfortable with something that is labeled specifically for chickens, that if you'd prefer to go with that route, but this is my one and only tried and true that I use. If my chickens have an infected wound, then I do use antibiotics. I have penicillin G that I keep in my fridge, so that has to be kept cold. So that's kept in my fridge, and that is something that I give an intermuscular injection if my chickens need it for an infection. So that is why I have syringes in here, syringes of different sizes, different needle sizes. I also carry smaller insulin syringes that I can use for chicks if needed. Having needles, syringes, penicillin, that sort of thing, you wanna have if that's something you're comfortable with. I'm comfortable with it because I worked for seven years as a veterinary technician, and so I'm very comfortable with intramuscular and subcutaneous injections. It's always good to consult with a veterinarian, to have an avian veterinarian, that you have their phone numbers readily available in case of an emergency, and have a backup option as well if you have that option in your area. Other things I have are scissors, which I'll use to 
cut gauze to size or my vet wrap. Tweezers are always good to have, especially if the wound is really dirty and you need to pick out any debris out of there. I always try to flush first, but you never know if you need to get in there and get out any debris. It is good to have larger syringes to be able to flush out wounds as well. Nail trimmers of different sizes is good to have as well, especially for the roosters for their spurs, if they had a crack in their spur, or the chicken's toenails get cracked, you have those for trimming. I like to have backup boxes of gloves. I do stock in bulk just because I have a lot of animals here on the farm, so I do have large boxes of syringes and needles, a huge box of vet wrap, Alcohol, I like to have a couple bottles of these on hand. This is great for sterilizing your tweezers, your scissors. Also, when I'm going to be giving an injection, I always clean the skin first with a little bit of alcohol on a cotton ball. So I have those cotton balls at the ready. I keep a small bag inside of the first aid kit, and then I keep a larger bag of my cotton balls elsewhere. <laughs> When you have baby chicks, it is important to have some chick electrolytes on hand. So these save a chick electrolytes. I do like to use these the first day with chicks that are born in an incubator just to get them off on the right start with a little bit of electrolytes as an option in one tray and regular water in another tray just to give them a nice little boost after the stress of hatching. But especially if you have chicks that have been shipped, this is a really good to add a little to their water. I recently had a two week old chick that was weak and not doing well and I did not have this in my first aid kit and I was in a panic. I had to rush out to Tractor Supply to go get it and it's definitely something that I wish I had in my kit. So that's something you want to think about is you want to have your first aid kit ready to go in case you have a sick chicken. So when I first got chickens, I had a few things for my first aid kit, but over time, I've definitely added more as needed as problems arose. However, this is something that I would recommend having from the get-go. It's called Poultry Nutri-Drench. So this is a nutrient supplement for poultry. So this is really good if you have a weak chick or chicken that needs some vitamins. So this, this is really good to be able to give them that boost that they need when they're weak. So using this, the chick made a full turnaround. So that chick, thanks to this, is doing fantastic. And this really did save her life. So I'm really happy that I was able to rush out and get it and that they had it in stock at Tractor Supply. Otherwise, I'm not sure what would have happened. So definitely, this is something I would keep on hand along with some electrolytes for helping with sick chicks. The most recent thing that I just got to add to my little kit is a headlamp. I haven't tried it yet, but whenever I'm cleaning a wound on a chicken, I always try to put as many lights on as I can to see what's going on, make sure I've got it as clean as possible. And it's hard to hold the chicken and to use my little flashlight on my phone to try to see it in there. So I'm gonna try this out. <laughs> So at least it's on my head and I can see what's going on and have my two hands available to hold the chicken and to be able to clean the wound with the flashlight on my head. <laughs> so totally extra, not a necessity, but I think it'll be helpful. <laughs> I also like to keep food grade diatomaceous earth on hand. I do use this occasionally in their feed and I also put it in their dust bath as well. This can help with parasites. There's so many things that you could have in your first aid kit and you'll want to start with having the essentials in your first aid kit when you first get chickens and build it up as you go a little bit at a time. So that way you do have things on hand when you need it so you don't have to rush out like I did to Tractor Supply in a panic and hope that they have it in, in stock at the time. Because for that chick I did use electrolytes and it wasn't enough. 
she needed the poultry drench. She needed those extra nutrients. And honestly, I don't think she would have made it without this here. If you have other things in your first aid kit, definitely share it down in the comments below. And that way, as a community, we can help each other with our first aid kits and make sure that we keep our chickens happy, healthy, and safe. <laughs> All of these supplies that I talked about, I will leave links down below in the description. Some of them I have got on Amazon, others online, also CVS, tractor supply, but I'll put links to as many of the items that I can find that are similar to what I am using. If you'd like to see more chicken care videos, I've got a whole chicken care playlist. You should definitely check it out. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now you're learning to farm like me. There is so much more to see. If you're planning on heading elsewhere, Bangi Yui, yeah, yeah, yeah. This really is the place to be. Whoa. What are you waiting for? Get your farm on, whoa.